Hi humans and welcome back to humanity. So today we are starting with our geography MCQ series. I'll be beginning with unit 2 geography for class 12th chapter population distribution density and growth. Hum karenge high level MCQs for your term 1 examinations. Ye MCQs bilkul bhi easy straightforward word meaning wale nahi honge they will be quite comprehensive isse aapki conceptual clarity badhegi interlinkage of topics badhega and these are the types of mcq jo cbse board mein puchta hai so make sure that you are attempting them all and let's get started you can also follow me on my telegram for further updates the link is in the description box below also agar aapko is material ki jo main aapko padhaungi uski pdf chahiye so you can join my channel memberships jo aapko subscribe ke साइड में एक बटन मिलेगा ज्वाइन करके उस पे क्लिक करेंगे तो सारी इंफॉर्मेशन मिल जाएगी लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड कंसीडर द फॉलोइंग स्टेटमेंट्स स्टेटमेंट नंबर 1 डेंसिटी ऑफ पॉपुलेशन इज द रेशियो बिटवीन द नंबर ऑफ पीपल टू द साइज ऑफ लैंड स्टेटमेंट नंबर 2 इट इज यूजुअली मेजरड इन पर्संस पर स्क्वायर किलोमीटर व्हिच ऑफ द अबव मेंशन स्टेटमेंट्स इज करेक्ट here are your options make sure to take a moment pause the video and attempt the question and then check your answer here is the correct answer option number c along with the said explanation next question says consider the following availability of water urbanization landforms climate soil which of the above are geographical factors influencing distribution of population and here are your options the correct answer is option number b the next question says consider the following statements statement number 1 the ganga plains are among the most densely populated areas of the world statement number 2 mediterranean regions were sparsely populated from early periods in history due to their unpleasant climate which of the above statements are correct? Here are your options. Make sure to take a moment and pause the video and answer the said question. The correct answer is option number C and here is the explanation. The next question says consider the following. Economic development, social upliftment, historical and cultural background. Which of the above mentioned factors can influence population growth in an area and here are your options take a moment answer the question and then check it for yourself the correct answer is option number d and here is the explanation the next question says consider the following statements statement number one the population change can be expressed either in terms of absolute numbers or in terms of percentage Statement number 2 says the population change is always positive. Which of the above statements is correct? Here are your options. Answer the question wisely. The correct answer is option number A. The next question says statement number 1. Negative growth of population occurs when the birth rate falls below the death rate. Statement number 2. Growth rate of population is the change of population expressed in percentage. Statement number 3. Positive growth of population happens when the birth rate is more than the death rate. Which of the above statements is correct? Here are your options. Make sure to take a moment and answer it correctly. So the correct answer is option number D. The next question says consider the following. Births, deaths, migration. Which of the above are the component of population growth? Here are your options. Please attempt the question carefully and then check it for yourself. The correct answer is option number D. The next question says consider the following statements. Statement number 1. Crude death rate is a method of measuring mortality of an area. Statement number 2. It is in terms of numbers of deaths in a particular year per thousand of population in a particular region. Which of these statements is correct? Here are your options. Pause the video, attempt the question and then check the answer. The correct answer is option number C and here is the right explanation. 
consider the following statements statement number 1 when people move from one place to another the place they move from is called place of destination statement number 2 the place of origin shows an increase in population statement number 3 migration is always temporary or seasonal which of the above statements are correct here are your options the correct answer is option number d and here is the explanation the next question says consider the following epidemics peace and stability better job opportunities which of the above are the full factor for migration in a region here are the options the correct answer is option number b and here is the said explanation make sure that you are reading the options carefully along with the question only then will you be able to answer the question properly the next question says consider the following statements statement number 1 after the evolution and introduction of agriculture the size of population was small statement number 2 world population exploded in the 16th and 17th century after the industrial revolution statement number 3 in the first century ad size of population was below 300 million which of the above statements are incorrect Here are your options. Take a moment and answer the question carefully. The correct answer is option number B. The next question says consider the following statements. Statement number 1, population growth is more in developed countries as compared to developing countries. Qu- statement number 2, there is positive correlation between economic development and population growth which of the statements is correct here are your options the correct answer is option number d along with the said explanation the next question says consider the following statements statement number 1 when a small annual rate is applied to a very large population there is almost no change statement number 2 even if the growth rate continues to decline the total population grows each year which of the statements are incorrect here is your option the correct answer is option number a and here is the said explanation the next question says consider the following statements statement number 1 the hiv aids epidemics in africa has reduced average life expectancy statement number 2 The annual population growth rate in India is 2.64%. Which of these statements are incorrect? Here are your options. Choose the correct option wisely before deciding the answer. Make sure that you've read the question properly and the options as well. The correct answer is option number B, and here is the said explanation. The next question says consider the following statements statement number 1 high fertility and high mortality statement number 2 both fertility and mortality decline statement number 3 high fertility and low mortality the question says arrange the above statements of demographic cycle correct chronological order from stage 1 you need to arrange them in a cr- chronological order and here are the options The correct option is answer number B and here is the correct explanation. Moving on to the last question for this chapter consider the following statements. Statement number 1 demographic transition theory can be used to predict the future population of any area. Statement number 2 these changes occur in stages which are collectively known as the demographic cycle. and statement number 3 it states that a literate society leads to low births and low deaths which of the above statement are correct here are your options make sure to read the question properly and then answer accordingly the correct answer is option number d and here is the correct explanation so guys that is it for the mcqs of this chapter i hope you found them helpful 
make sure that you like share and subscribe for more such content at humanities more chapters in the making so make sure that you've hit the subscribe button and shared it with your classmates i hope that it helped you a lot thank you so much for watching you are at humanities happy learning i'll see you in the next video